a skillful musician, a skillful singer, humble singer, humble musician. You know, when God bless everybody with their gifts, each of us have different gifts. Some can sing, some can play. Some can sing and play, so on, so on. We know about all the different gifts. My question is, why is people, some people, instead of trying to make up their own gift, like me and Media Man was talking about the other day, some people trying to make themselves a singer when they wasn't gifted with it. Somebody right now trying to make themselves a musician when they wasn't gifted with it. That's why I always tell people it's the difference between a gift and a talent, but a lot of people don't agree with that. But hey, I look at it, I look at it like that because only God, and I mean only God, can bless you with a gift. And that gift only comes from God. Man cannot give you a gift. That's what the problem is nowadays. People trying to make their own gift, knowing they can't sing. But they and they knowing they ain't humble. But they want to sing because somebody else sing. You know, that's the point of, of having a gift. And you got to stir up your gift, not sit down on your gift. You stir it up. And a lot of people don't catch that in the Bible. David, oh, let's talk about King David. David, you know, in spite of all the bad things David did, David still was a humble man. David was a, Bible say David was a skillful musician. When he played his instruments, his harp, oh, let's talk about when David's song, look how people love to hear his voice. That boy had a golden voice. See, David was gifted. He was skillful. Now we sit down here and we go all up against God. We put people in position that don't have no business being in position. And then they get mad when you tell them, you know, you you can't sing. <laughs> you really can't sing. But I applaud your effort, but you know, that's not your, you know, God blessed you to be a director without a voice. So what, you can't sing, but you can direct. You're not able to give parts because that wasn't your gift. You wasn't blessed with that, but you know how to direct your butt off. You can do them hand signals. He didn't bless you to be a musician. You know two or three cards, but you are not a musician. That's why I always say you got people that can sing and you got people that can sing. Like we say in the country, sing. She's singing because everybody ain't anointed. David was anointed. David calmed those evil spirits out of King Saul. He did. It tells you how skillful he was. Say David was a handsome, skillful musician. He knew how to sing. He was gifted. So why are so many people, you know, I trip out when I look at, I remember when American Idol first came out. I tripped out off of that show and I tripped out off so much because it's a lot of people that know they can't sing. But they get on there anyway, knowing they're going to get sent home. Can't hold a tune for nothing. And it's the same way in a lot of churches. Period. I hate to say this, but it's the same way. And then people want to say, well, you judge me. I, I, uh, if God wanted you to sing, God would have gave you that voice. He would have gave you that voice. Though you are not a prophet. So why you keep trying to make yourself be a prophet? You see what I'm saying? This is what we do down here. And I know I'm going to make 1,500 people mad with this video, but I'm not trying to make nobody mad. Why do we keep trying to make our own gift? God can get, give me the gift of laying hands on people. So why am I going to get on and start hitting folks all in the head? That wasn't my gift. Everybody thinks just because you get saved, every gift apply to you. It don't work like that. The Bible teaches us that. Some are gifted with prophesying. Some are gifted with discerning them spirits. Some gifted to sing. Some gifted to play. But we we got people that want all the gifts. That ain't how God. That ain't how God blessed you with. Now you got people that are gifted in many ways. 
I see I see a lot of mus musicians know how to play the organ, the piano, the drums, the bass, you name it, and they can sing and produce. They was gifted because God gave them that. And then you got some musicians can't play but one instrument. But how many of us know musicians that are just skillful? And I'm not talking about just playing. They are skillful and they know what they are doing. And they sound good on anything they pick up. But then there are some that can only pick up the piano, pick up the bass. I look at my little brother, man. Y'all don't know, but my little brother, man, I'm not bragging or boasting on him, but God bless that boy how to play everything. He plays the bass. He plays the lead. He plays the drums. He can even play the keys. And sound good. I can show him one card. I don't care how complicated the card might look. He got it. His ability. And he, he can engineer. And I look at that. I say, wow. I tell him all the time, man, you are really blessed. I don't tell him he's talented. I say, you are gifted. See, that's why I said in the other video, between the difference between the gift and the talent, you can pick up some talents. Just like I picked up working on cars. I watched my daddy. You know, I look at PP drawings when he drew when he drew those drawings. That's a gift. That man ain't went to no school. Just like I look at myself being, you know, musically inclined. That was I ain't never went to school for the piano. Period. God taught me. That was a blessing. And God has used others like Jamal Hartwell. He put other people in my life. So many others I can't name everybody to help me out along the way. They didn't. They didn't give me no gift. They played a part of me learning different things. See, that's a gift. So, so many people right now don't understand that. And they trying to make themselves come up with something God ain't blessed them with. I told this guy the other day, man, I call him the lost prophet. He don't never know which way to go. He always asking me stuff. I said, look here, man, you the prophet. How are you the prophet and you don't know nothing? I thought God come to you real hard. Why are you asking me stuff all the time? You don't know how to run the church. You don't know about this. You don't know about that. But once again, you, two months ago, your name wasn't even prophet. It was just Reverend. Now you went prophet. Next day, you're going to be apostle. Oh, man, titles. Quit trying to make yourself have a gift that God didn't even bless you with. Man, like you just saying in your video, Mini Man, when I was talking about the young lady at church that time when she was singing and the old lady just told her baby, she said it like this, baby, you need to just put that microphone down because you know you can't sing. God is not going to be mad at you. You need to find something else to do and get in there in the kitchen and cook or something because you can't sing. She hurt the young lady feelings. Man, but she was telling the truth. The lady couldn't sing. She couldn't. She knows she couldn't. But she still tried. That's why, you know, I just be cautious with people. I work with anybody, but folks know they can't sing. Folks know they can't play. And they, they and then you got these cocky ones. They get up there and just, oh, God. They just think they know it all. You, you can't tell them nothing. They be in the key of Z flat. Then they tell you to go down in the key of Q. You don't went through all the keys. You still don't know where they at. They toned them. But, oh, don't tell them they can't sing. See, I wouldn't get offended by that. You tell me I can't sing, I'm not going to get mad at that. Because I am not a singer. A lot of people say, man, you're a lead singer. No, I'm not a lead singer. I try to fiddle around with it. I'm more of a background singer. I like singing background. I'm no, no. And see, you got people that's get out front and just be that leader and just be cold with it. That's, they are a lead singer. I'm a, I'm a keyboard player. I ain't got no business going to church Sunday jumping on my boy saxophone. No. And that's what people are doing in so many ways. Well, I can do what he do. God didn't bless you with that. If God wanted me to play the horn, I would have played the horn. Now, in order for me to learn the horn, I would have to go take that up or, or get lessons from him. No, I stick to what I know. It's too many people want every day jealous of somebody else's gift. Bible teaches us about being jealous of somebody else's gift. You be happy with what God bless you with. You got folks getting the stand, they don't even know, they don't have a clue why they up there. You got folks getting on, on, on the, uh, and, and the deacon boy don't know why they getting in there. 
You got people getting in the pulpit because somebody told them they can preach and it wasn't God. See what I'm saying? I'm not trying to make nobody mad. The truth hurt. You got people that call themselves to preach and they don't know nothing about the word of God. Know the tree by its fruit. Let's stop trying to make ourselves get a gift that God didn't bless us with. And I hope all is doing well, man. And I'm not trying to make nobody mad once again. This is just the truth. The Bible teaches us everybody are gifted differently. They are gay. Oh, man, I look at some of these cats on the organ. I always give a shout-out to my man, P.J. Morgan, John Peters, my girl, Trina Trin. I call them, excuse me, I call them organ beasts. Because when they sit down and touch the organ, they make magic with it. They remind me of like the Bible talks about David. They just, oh man, amazing. That's why I give credit when credit is due. I give, I applaud everybody. I'm never going to be a hater. Never. And I be looking at them whooping that organ. I be like, woo, they whooping it. I, I, one of my old time favorites, man, on the organ, when it came to the organ, I love, I know a lot of people know this man, MT. Y'all know who I'm talking about. Moses Tyson. See, some people just made for that organ, gifted for that organ. Old MT cranked them hymns up and, and, and just take it to church on you. Oh, man. I used to even look, I used to even watch, uh, love watching Billy Preston when he was on the organ. So I tell you, I love old school, man. Some people don't, don't even care nothing about the piano. And some don't care nothing about the organ. But that don't mean you ain't, you know, you better than the person that, that ain't playing the piano or that ain't playing the organ. I did a video about that. We are all gifted. We are all gifted. See, I don't play like the next man. So why would I get jealous of his style? What I can do is take some cards from him. Hmm. We like to call it sometimes borrowing from each other. That's why I gave all my heart on YouTube. These ain't my cards. I learned a whole lot, but I don't want a lot of uh, minister of music to have to, to uh, the beginners to have to go through a whole lot of what I went through when they when there's so much help out here now. See, we didn't have that kind of help growing up. We got all this help out here, and it's sad that most people don't want to help each other. And I'm going to get out here on that. God bless you.